Hello everyone and uh, welcome to my channel. So in this video I'm going to show you how to create the wingtip. Let me show you. It's going to look like this. Now there are a few uh, ways to do it. I'm going to show you one which is uh, more safe, easy, but it takes a little bit longer but the results are really good. Before I start I just want to remind you if you have any question, if you have any wish, don't forget to uh, visit the forums uh, and ask any question that you want here or if there is any video that you want me to make so just put it in here and uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe and the uh, bell icon so you can get a notification every time I'm releasing a new video and everything don't forget it's also in the description the links the files and everything it's over there so uh, let's begin I'm just gonna uh, roll back to the beginning and uh, yeah okay so this is where we uh, left off uh, from the last time uh, let's see what we've got here we have this sketch over here and yes okay so the next thing we're gonna do is um, we're just gonna create this uh, um, plan here at angle and okay great so i'm gonna create now the a uh, sketch and let's see how it's gonna look like just a form so it's gonna look like let's see if it's the front yeah so it's gonna look like something like this we're gonna play with the shape later on so let's create a new sketch it again don't forget to uh, activate the wings a uh, component which is under the sub assembly wings okay so we're gonna start here now I'm going to uh, make sure that I'm gonna slice this one here first and again I'm gonna take the um, project intersect and I project this point here and this point here and I also would like to project Let's see uh, if we have the the cam camber line, which is over here. Good. Now let's move it like this, and I'm going to create one, two, three, four, five. I can finish this one and let's uh, unslice everything just so I can see how it looks I'm gonna shape it and it's starting to look really nice and don't worry just because it's curved so that's why it look like maybe it's more inward but it's not so uh, yeah something like this it's uh, it looks good i'm just gonna push maybe this one a little bit over here okay we can finish now this sketch great so now we can just turn this one off and we're gonna turn back on this plan over here and we're gonna create a new offset plan let's move it something about here hit ok as you can tell it's just gonna take longer because we're gonna create different kind of sketches and then we're gonna create a loft between them so um, let's do another sketch here and again as before we're gonna slice it we're gonna take the project intersect we just zoom in a bit project this point project this point and this point over here good now we're gonna create like before just want to make sure which one I'm working on so one it's gonna look very much like the other one <clears throat> uh, 
<clears throat> gonna finish this one now I'm going over here I'm gonna create a straight line it's gonna go all the way and intersect over here and I'm also gonna create a line from here to here and click OK great so far so good let's shape it again and this one I'm gonna move just a little bit over here and this one a little bit something like here okay now this um, it's not closed I uh, just want to check why it's not closed so I'm just gonna close it good so from here I'm just gonna do a normal loft from here oh, to here and then I'm just gonna choose this rails and let's try again one and I'm gonna add a second one good just want to make sure that it's follow exactly the same shape and voila it looks really nice if we want we can always uh, edit it you know change the shape if something it goes it's not uh, look that well as you can see here it's very easy to change the shape great now we move on to the next so let's see we have one point here we have a point here and we have a point here so we're going to create a new construction uh, plan uh, through three points so we're going to check this one this one and this one hit ok so we're going to create a new sketch here and we are going to slice go to project intersect so we project this point here this point here actually only these two we don't need more than that now we're gonna create uh, sorry I'm using again this control point spline as you noticed it's very easy and fun to work with gonna finish and now we're gonna create the shape that we wanted to end here something like that looks really really nice okay now uh, what we're gonna do is let's hope that everything works good and Okay, this is not going to work because we need to create a new a new sketch and it's going to be on this plane here. First, we're going to project uh, 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 this line and we're going to also project this line over here and this line over here and we don't need them to be um, what is it called yeah linked so and uh, now I'm going to cut it I'm gonna trim the pieces that I don't need I don't need this one and I don't need this one now we need to make sure that they are constrained as you can see now they're not really constrained if I'm gonna zoom in you can see they are kind of moved away so I'm gonna go to the coincident constraint click on this one and hit over here and then I'm going to the second one I'm gonna do the same 
click here and now you can see we have close a sketch here good so now we can go and try to do the loft and to over here and we have some uh, rails let's see we have this one we have this one sorry and let's see if it's working or maybe I should just let's try without them oh actually we don't need it we just need this one sorry yes and we can join it good it looks really nice you can just turn all this off and look at that it looks really really nice and again if I want I can just uh, go back you know over here and I can change the shape if it's too thick or maybe too thin so okay so we move on to the next one as you can see it's not that complicated but it just take a little bit more time let's finish everything and we're going to let's just turn this one on create <clears throat> a new offset plan and I'm gonna put it somewhere here in the middle okay now I'm gonna create a new sketch business as usual project intersect again I'm just gonna move it a little bit here so I can see more clear this one this one and I'm gonna hit also this one as well you can just turn this one off it's annoying and I'm gonna create now the shape here one two three four five we're gonna finish this one and I'm gonna create a straight line from here to here it can also be a construction line. it doesn't have to be a normal line and from here I'm just gonna shape it a little bit can give it uh, maybe a little bit more height now this one doesn't have to be that thick okay and I forgot one thing is we need to create a straight line from here to here good so then we can just turn on this one here and we can create a loft from here to here and we need to make sure where are rails what is it gonna tell us now is there a problem problem with the guys in the Toronto's loft to body creation failed um, plus okay let's hide the sketches and see the results the result looks really really nice nice and smooth okay good next and where is it over here so what we're going to do now <clears throat> we are going to create a sketch yeah, one of these faces and we are going to project this line over here we're going to project this one and this one we don't need 
uh, to link them but they must be closed so it is closed right now which is good and next thing we need to do is we need to create a plan through three points so we're going to have one two and three and we're going to create our last sketch we're going to slice it we're going to intersect project one here and we're going to project this one here we don't have to see that it's sliced anymore and we're going to create something like that and I'm gonna create a shape now in some situation for example like this I might gonna add maybe another extra point control so it's gonna look something like that yes and click ok then let's move to the loft between nope sorry this one and this one and we're gonna use this rail over here see everything looks good and we hit ok so we can just hide this one and see the results the result looks really really nice <coughs> and anytime if something is wrong you can always again turn on the sketch this one and play with the shape so it's gonna look exactly the way you want it okay if something goes wrong yes but as you can see it looks really nice and smooth and it fits um, the wings perfectly there are no issues great so in the next video this is it for now um, again if there's any kind of other wishes just go again check out the description I have a link to this um, forum ask me over here if they have any kind of problems but you shouldn't have any problem this is pretty safe and a good um, solution for uh, for the wing tip and again don't forget to hit the subscribe and the bell icon for the next video the next video I'm gonna work on the flaps and it's gonna gonna be much it's very, gonna be very easy it's much it's quite fun actually to create them and yeah so uh, I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next video bye bye